right. Um, Today, the, real quick, the injectors. Yes, absolutely, with uh, Butcher Barbecue um, beef injection. What makes a difference to that? I'm sorry? So, it makes a difference. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Juice, yeah. Look at the juice in there. John, right. you got a picture of that? And David, David um, let me, let me get recommends that you mix it with water. I mix it with apple juice, typically. I just or you could, you could use vegetable. You could use vegetable stock vegetable as well. Stock there. I do that as well. Because a lot of your rubs are going to have a lot of the products of the, that's in the vegetable yeah. stock in the rubs as well. Look at that stuff. Look at that juice. Just, that just came that came right out of a warmer right there. Looks good, Jeff. Still use too much pepper for me, but that's just me. Hand me my drink over there, please. <laughs> Your drink's over Where's there. My drink? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> too much pepper, not enough salt. Imagine that. Huh? Pepper's got to get fused. Huh? That's what happens when you get to be our age. You need more salt. I know. You need more salt. All right. Um, today, everybody, everybody always use you know, butter is the thing on most pe most people. Most people use butter on grilled cheese to cover. And I thought, well, this will be a great thing for Saturday. We'll make we'll make uh, grilled grilled cheese with uh, brisket on. And um, and uh, we'll do our takes on. We'll do all three takes on. And uh, so, Michael Williams, thank you. Big shout out to Michael. He uh, he filled in for you last week. That's yeah, great. And I, I very much appreciate it. Of course, I love oh, Michael. Oh, that pork belly Good. you made was oh, dead. Yeah. Nothing I don't like about that pork belly. Those pork, I, made some, not, and I made some pork belly uh, burritos. It just went over just, just oh, they're unbelievable. They're just what I what I'm doing today, we're highlighting Butcher Barbecue's line of grilling uh, butter oils. It's not butter; it's buttered oils. We've got the steakhouse flavor. David's got garlic butter flavor, chipotle flavor, and I believe this is just the regular old butter, uh, the honey, honey flavor. And we do have a uh, a butter flavor that is in in our our um, tastes just like butter. It's in our butter wheel. These things are shelf stable. You don't have to be refrigerated. They're great to use in place of butter. If um, and uh, it's it's a it's a great product. We sell we sell this at the store. We've got all five flavors, and I just love it, guys. I mean, I just I just love this stuff. Steve, I actually use it on my corner of the comp. Right? Oh yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. Anywhere you can use butter, it it, it you can use it there. Let's get to it. Yeah, man. I know. Yeah. I'll, I'll it's time to eat. I, I want to say something else, but, I, but we'll, we'll 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 figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, let's first let's do um, Pete. Let's do your let's do your your take. You hop in here, and we're gonna do the Pete Branton uh, brisket uh, grilled cheese. You are going straight white bread? I am. That kind of you're guy straight. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're a straight, straight up guy. Up, straight up. That's the kind of guy I am. Right there. Just like his tomato sandwiches. So I'm gonna. It's gonna be like an assembly line here, Jeff. All right. I'm with you. Huh? I like it on both sides, by the way. Who doesn't? There you go. I'm oh, you passing put it, it you to you. Oh, there it is. Okay. Jeff, you're going to be in charge of having to grill that stuff. We're going to need to get something on this grill so it doesn't stick. Well, that's well it's got butter on the bread. You got a spatula right there. All right, Pete. How are you going after that? So I'm going to do mine a little bit. Pete, you, may, you need to move in over there. I'm going with Gouda. That's all right. I'm, okay, I'm you good? You're good? All right. I'm good here. I, I'm trying to make sure Jeff sees exactly what I'm putting on here. <laughs> Jeff, by the, way, something. by the way, Jeff, thank you so much for picking this up. Knowing that I wanted to smoke good on mine this morning. Right back. Right? You'll keep going. You're doing good. Put that on the no grilling side. Addiction. I am going to put a little grilling addiction on. You know, I don't nothing without grilling addiction on. But I'm with you. Put that right there. Huh? A little bit of grilling addiction. I'm gonna let you load this thing up right here with. We're gonna need that brisket now, Pete. There you go. I'm gonna let you. That way, I'm not working over you. Then. Good looking brisket right there. So what? Um, grilling addiction. Okay. All right. Well, you're you you guys are doing this completely different than I thought it would be done. No, this might work. A tomato in there too. Oh, okay. You want to warm that tomato up too, huh? No. Yeah, and just like that, perfect. Right. Let's look at that. Look at that. Look, what that butter did on that bread. Wow, we right look there. at that. That's perfect. Huh? I love it. By now, I put is that grilling addiction on there? No, I forgot to bring it in, but I had a dome. I wanted to dome it to melt the cheese. It don't matter. You can't hurt it. Is that gonna be melted enough? You think? 
Okay. It's okay. going to be burnt if I don't. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. okay. Set over to the side. Let you come over here and get your spot. Well, Jeff, you you do your take on it next. Want, you switch you places know. with uh, you switch places with Jeff B. All right. You can We're run the a little Texas toast. All right. I'm going to do both sides before I put the cheese on. Okay. 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 Um, that way, I'm going to get that crunch throughout that I'm looking for. So we're going to cheese it. I'm going to I'm going to go Steve's uh, method. We uh, once interviewed Morgan Cheek, and he won the World Food Championships with a smash burger using just good old processed Steve, American Thank cheese. You very much. Tom Smith did something for me. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to put cheese on both sides. I hate to tell you though, why it's still warm. I just think it is going to melt better that way. Try that? No, I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh, it looks good. I'll try them all. We'll try them all. Mm. It's not good, is it? It's horrible. Should I just give you the flat, Steve, or should I give you some points? Yeah, it does. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it does. Fine, like in the barbecue business, you wait like one hog watch on another. Yeah. Hmm. Very good. But Jeff, Jeff's got. He's going to have. He's going to have toasted to toasted bread all the way around. With a slice of cheese in each. Huh? You can push that up and it'll show up in the same way. Just kind of push up on it, up a little higher. Whoops! Whoops! I got. I went bye bye. Damn. Michael says, "Pete, that looks." Uh, it is delicious. And Michael, Michael Williams said he's a pepper forward guy too. So, mm. all you pepper guys. Now, did you put cheese in there, Jim? You put cheese on the slice of the bread. Okay. So I got all the right. brisket in between the cheese. Okay. So it's gonna be top and bottom okay. of the brisket. All right. No tomato. See y'all. No tomato. Right. Yep. I know you guys are both gonna go tomato, so I can contrarian. Well. So what are you gonna go with, Steve? Well, hang on. I mean, I want to jump in there just a second. What's up? Ooh, that's hot. Here, I got some heat gloves on. That's hot. I got it. Got one of David's. Oh, that's, I didn't uh, think about good. it. What about holding that looks? Yeah, camera. right here. Hold it up to this camera right here. Yeah, that kind of kind of looks like what uh, Michael posted or had on his page the other day with that cheese melted. Yeah. In. I'm gonna give that a run and see how it tastes. Okay, give it a run. Move that over there. Oh, with that garlic. Bread? All right, Jeff, you 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 come around. You switch places with me, and I'll jump in here. That's Jeff right there. It's Jeff's mess. You guys are messy. You guys are messy. I tell you what. You guys are messy. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm using this uh, wheat bread that Sean ran up to uh, Food City and got. Now, you know, ever you know, we talked. You know, we talk about. You know, we talk about butter. But I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm going to tell you guys something at home too. The real, the real grilled cheese connoisseur. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, you got to hit out there and look. The real cheese oh, connoisseur. Yeah. <laughs> he hit it on us. Is Duke? You can get out of the way of the camera, Jeff. There you go. <laughs> the real cheese connoisseur, real cheese. Everybody knows. And, and I love David Bosk, and I love the grilling butters. But the real, the real grilled cheese connoisseur is, you know, that. You use Duke's mayo as the ground base. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna admit it's not a bad call. <laughs> bad call. Now I'm gonna it's go. Been nice to have that right there. Right? I'm gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna Help go back on us. I'm gonna go Velveeta. Two slices. I'm gonna get this. This looks like a piece of. Um, that looks like a piece of. Uh, point. 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 There you go. We'll put that on there like so. Just like so, and I'm gonna put me a tomato on there. Brisket. Whoa, Pete, hand me that. Uh, never mind, I got it. Is that brisket that's in my standard? A little more salt. Very good. Very good. Say what? One too many Pete's back here. Everybody wants to be a Pete. Yeah, I know. This way, I like being like Mike. I put, like that, I put right that on there Pete. like so. You know what? I'm gonna do here, Pete. While Steve's doing that, I'm gonna take and cut a little chunk of that off, and I'm gonna. Take some Dukes to what I have here and see if it improves. Well, what I, if what you I have did. never, if you have never used 
mayonnaise instead of butter on your bread. Try it. Now I'm going to tell you something. How you doing, George? I'm going to use this, use this little topper here that we didn't have a little while ago. I had it. <laughs> I had it. Because actually, I learned to grill cheese from my daughter and my wife. The two of them just happened to be grilled cheese aficionados for some reason, I don't know. And uh, that's who taught me how to grill cheese. And um, That's not bad. This is gonna. This is gonna look really, One really thing good. Is, you just didn't. You don't have no smoke food down there. You just don't. <laughs> Put that up like so. No Real garlic quick. toast. See, there's a good example though of everybody with a little. Well, bit that's of what, that's what I wanted to do. And I wanted you to. Can, you can. There's no bad math. No. What about a pickle? Everybody grew up with a different style, regional or you know, or just your family. Now, think about this. Like the think about using mayonnaise. It, you know, a lot of people, I don't like mayonnaise. And my wife's one of them. She hates, she hates mayonnaise. Won't eat it. But I've done grilled cheeses for her using mayonnaise and not told her. Doesn't know the difference. Cannot tell the difference. The Traitor. taste the taste is. You got to get some more of these, Jeff. I got one on the trailer. <laughs> That's good. I just didn't bring it inside. Yeah, if you never use it, it'll never work. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I use it on the trailer. I just don't use it. In the yeah, no, fellas, there, there it is, right there. There it is. Look at that melted cheese. Oh, look at that. Look at that shot. Are you getting a picture of that? Move these guys out of the way. Those, those poor things right there. Bunch of losers in here. I'll tell you. That grilled cheese loser. Pete, cut. Do me a favor. Cut that. Cut that thing right. Through. I'd venture to say not one of those stinks. No, they're all good. They're all good. Jeff, I like that. <laughs> Dose in store today. And, man, we couldn't we couldn't find it. Good thing we, I had to go to three places to get right Pete Tudor. And look at this. Look at that. You got that, Sean? Is that it? Is that it, folks? Is that it? Oh my gosh. Maybe we should have Sean be the. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So blind see. test taste look test. At that. So look, look right at that. there. What do you think about that, Sean? Man. Well, look at that. There's three different ways, three different types of bread. Three different ways to get to Chicago. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at that. Jeff, get that right there. You saw how easy it is. When you say get that, you mean get that. <laughs>